Yan Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> of five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. <laughs> train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Whoa, so that's a Xianzhou ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6. For the Xianzhou, these ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, allow me to welcome you to Star Skiff Haven. On the Sienjo Lofu, anything relating to aviation, navigation, and trade falls within the scope of the Skyfaring Commission, which is one of the six commissions of the Lofu. As the biggest port on the ship, Star Skiff Haven is governed by the Skyfaring Commission, too. You definitely sound like a. Oh. Uh... What was it again? Oh, Hammy Cassiter. By which I mean nice speech. That's too kind of you. My job involves ferrying business delegates to and from Starskiff Haven, so I do this kind of introduction all the time. Anyway, we're safe now. Normally I'd be a good host and take you around, but these are difficult times. Let's head to the Palace of Astrum first, and report your arrival to Madame Yukon. Palace of Astrum? Right there, the tallest building in the city. It's also the headquarters of the Skyfaring Commission. Let's hurry, we haven't got much time.
Oh, you're here already. Sorry to keep you waiting. Madame Yukong is expecting you. Are you not coming? I've brought the Madame... Yes, Madam. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination Commission. They can't just stand there watching while we deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me of the purpose of your visit. Receiving guests isn't normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is, and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. We have been around for over 8,000 years, and weathered countless dangers and crises. While the situation is serious, we have more than enough resources to spare. Outsider help is not needed on this occasion. You are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and any individuals affected by the corrosion. We have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters, and we've only come here to lend you that experience. I've said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a gesture of respect, but my decision is final. Uh, but... Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? It's only been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full lockdown. No one has been permitted to leave. How did you come to know of the incident? And what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? I acquired the access history of Starskiff Haven. Not long ago, someone hacked into the system and opened the Jade Gate. Before guiding you, the Astral Express, into our territory. The hacker was skillful and even taunted us with her seal. Her name is Silverwolf, a member of the Stellaron Hunters. What say you in your defense? You are forbidden from leaving the Skyfaring Commission until the aforementioned questions have been investigated. Don't be too harsh, Yukong. If this gets out, the whole galaxy will think the Alliance has forgotten how to treat our guests. General Jing Yuan. It's very unlikely that the Express has joined forces with the Stellaron Hunters. They are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights here on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. General? Could he be... Yes. He's one of the six charioteers. The six most powerful figures on the Sienjo Law Fu. Like Yu Kong, except perhaps even of greater status and authority. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal affair. I am sorry, guests of the Astral Express. It is true that there is a Stellaron on the Lofu, but I'm afraid I cannot accept your kind offer to help resolve the issue. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. Of course, it would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Please. After you. Ah, the Astral Express. I must confess that... It's... Uh, during our... 
<laughs> I have as such. We can have since this doing. <laughs> the fool. Okay. Wonder if there is anything. Get ready, and watch your backs. Leave it to me! Here to crash the party? Keep up! Just a scratch. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Rules are made to be broken. Naughty child, nap time. Burn it up! I have something for you. Ha! Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Ready to chance. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. You won't get away. Better. Let's go. Ready to jam. Yeah. Keep up. That's it. You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> Time for an overhaul. <laughs> Time for a <sh> <laughs> This song's for you. Turn it up. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. <sighs> Ready to jam. Ha! Naughty child. Nap time. Let's make it quick. Ha! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! I have something for you. Ha! Ha! This song's for you. Turn it up! Time for a shot. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it! Rules are made to be broken. I'm okay. Just a little something. Think nothing of you. Ready to jam. Time for an overhaul. Perhaps you see humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's go. Yeah. Ready? Let's rock. Ready to lose your? You can fight it or rock with it. Uh.